Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Europa Universalis. Uh, this is a, a brand new game for me to record. I played it a bit. I played about 150 hours, which is actually not that much for this game. It's a grand strategy game. Uh, it's great. I love it. And I decided I wanted to do some recording on it and see how we like it. So in this let's play we're going to play as uh, one prophet's miner from Ireland and we're going to see if you can get the luck of the Irish achievement. The luck of the Irish achievement you need to conquer uh, Ireland of course but the rest of the British Isles as well so you have to conquer all this land as one of these one prophet's miners. And I was thinking about it uh, a bit I did some testing and I started testing with Kildar, Kildar I don't know how you pronounce it. Because it has nice development, it has 11, starts with 11 development and it has a great leader, 343, or great, a quite good leader compared to the rest of the one prophet's miners. But the national IDs, Kilda starts with Irish IDs, which aren't too great. So I looked a bit further and I saw that Thormund is actually a good option for it. So. Um, Let's look at the Thormundian IDs, because that's why uh, Thormund is a good ID. <laughs> you see what I did there? No, uh, sorry. Um, let's let's take a quick look at the IDs and then start playing. All right, the Thormundian IDs start with uh, tolerance of the true faith plus one and core creation cost, reduced core creation cost, which is great for creating cores on these other provinces and reducing unrest in the conquered provinces, which is fine. Um, as our first ID, we get Diplomatic Reputation plus 1, which helps us secure alliances. We get a Force Limit modifier plus 20%, which helps us build a big, bigger army. We've got some National Tax modifier, which helps collect more money, which is fine. Cheaper Mercenaries, also great. Uh, extra Production Efficiency, again, helps us uh, collect more money. And then we have something which could be interesting increased army tradition which basically means if we end up a lot at war with uh, with England for instance we can get a, a nice bit of army tradition going and hopefully get some good generals out of it and last but not least we get a global settler increase plus 15 which helps if we want to settle North America which is something that we might want to do a, a few options to go by when you want to do these achievements um, one is to go to North America, move your capital to North America, build a big country or settle a big country in North America, just use settlers and stuff. And once you have a big, big country, come back and conquer England. The other option is just to conquer Ireland and then use some alliances and stuff to either conquer Scotland or England and maybe go to Scandinavia a bit. We basically need to grow a bit larger before we can tackle England. England is a big power, so we, we will see how we end up. We, we might want to do some colonization, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll just play. We conquer a few one profits miners. Probably vassalize one or two, because we can use the extra armies. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. The one downside from Thormund is that we, we start with a very bad leader. With only five monarch points per month. We'll have to do. Alright, so let's, uh, without further ado, let's uh, play this game. Let's play it on Iron Man mode, otherwise we cannot get the achievement. As you can see, I uh, fiddled around with it quite a bit. So uh, we're going to start the Iron Man campaign. And let's see what we get. So a while to loot, actually. Alright, there we are. We start with 4k troops. As you can see, most one province miners start with 4k troops, at least. Uh, Clan Ricard and Sligo and one of the two we're gonna conquer one of the two and as we can see we get a mission to remove Clan Ricard from the map so we're gonna take that mission we're gonna declare war as soon as possible but before we do it we need to train some extra troops we're gonna train uh, an infantry and I think a cavalry I think that's a good combination then we end up with four infantry and two cavalry so we're gonna go straight at war when these uh, units are finished. Um, we end up with seven ships, and I want to send one merchant to. No, wait, let's 
open the trade map mode. One merchant to the North Sea you can collect from tra trade here, and one merchant from to the not from to the uh, English Channel. And we're gonna protect trade in the English Channel. I, I find that by getting a, a bit of trade power in the English Channel, you can make a lot more money than in the North Sea. North Sea is just garbage. Alright, so we're going to train some troops. We also have three transport ships. We're going to try to sell these uh, straight to England, straight in the first month. Easily England pays uh, a bit of money for it. And let's see, we want to set our rivals. Of course we want to set Clan Ricard as a rival. Uh, Sligo, Sligo, Sligo I think, as a rival. And either Desmond or Kildar. One of the two. Mm, let's go with Desmond because they they hate me. Yes, we're gonna set Desmond as uh, a rival as well, and we probably want to conquer uh, Clan Ricard and Sligo and uh, then after that go to war with Desmond and vassalize Desmond. So we have one vassal. Maybe maybe grab another vassal later. But we want the vassals to uh, to get more troops because we only can build like 10 or 11 uh, K troops when we uh, conquer the whole of Ireland, which isn't that much. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, we have some free diplomats. One of the diplomats can go to improve relations with Scotland. We want to end up with an alliance with Scotland because uh, sometimes two of the miners uh, decide to get in an alliance and uh, they end up with 12k troops at least so uh, you want to have uh, at least some protection from an ally so if you ally Scotland we uh, basically have some protection when they want to declare war at us uh, Scotland which will jump in and uh, hopefully protect us alright so we go to speed 2 wait 3 more days and then we're gonna tech trade in the English channel and currently we are making 0.16 ducats from the North Sea and a bit probably a bit from the English channel as well we'll see how we end up doing that with the trade all right so the ships have arrived let's go to England and sell ships the second fleet three transports for 20 ducats I think that's fine so we Get a nice bit of money from that. Do we want any advisors? Um, I don't know. On the one hand, let's see. How's our leader? What traits do we have? National tax is greedy. National tax modifier minus 10%. Now I really want him to die. He's really bad. But I don't want him to die too soon because we will end up with a regency council. That's not really good for us. Because we want to conquer as much land as quickly as possible but we're gonna make him the general anyway and first we're gonna send a diplomat here to where I build the spy network yes and then we go to the military leaders hub and make our leader into a general one one general not that great but what do you expect he's bad at leading country is bad at leading an army as you can see, we are collecting quite a bit of trade now from the English Channel, or a lot more than from the uh, North Sea. So we will probably focus on building trade ships, light ships, barks to, uh, to protect trade. We don't still quite a way off from the force limit there. We're just going to sit here for a while, hopefully get a royal marriage with Scotland soon. England is improving with Scotland. Or is Scotland improving with England? Scotland is improving with England, I think. Hmm. We've an alliance with Aragon, Navarra and the Papal State. And England has an alliance with Tyrone, Ulster, Provence and Portugal. This is actually not really that great for us. We get two one province miners with an alliance with England, so we can't attack them, otherwise we will uh, face the wrath of the big old queen of England. No, they have a king right now, right? 
is the leader. Oh, blah blah blah. King Henry is even worse than our leader. He's no legal heir. We could royal really marry him and try to uh, to get in on the throne of England. That would be rather nice, actually. He's 23, so he probably won't die forever. So I th don't think there's any use in doing that. Let's go to speed three for one moment. All right, we get six troops. Let's pause the game. Pull back a diplomat from uh, Sligo, Sligo thingy, and declare war straight away. Take a nod. March in with six K troops. We get 50% more troops than. Uh, Clan Ricard, so we'll probably um, end up winning the battle. I don't see why we cannot win the battle, although we get a negative modifier for a river crossing, terrain and a river profit crossing. It's in the woods, so that's not really too great for us, but we will win this battle anyway, I think. Come on. Well, a nine. Ooh, I don't know. Something dropped there. Right, so we won the battle. The troops have nowhere to run, so they uh, just jump in the in the sea. I guess I don't know. They get away. Uh, how are we in Scotland? What's the situation? We royal marry you. Negative six reasons. Ooh, wait. We are going to set our thingy to friendly. I right click on our country, we want this area, we want this, uh, we want this, and we want that. We want everything for ourselves. And that as well. Alright. We want everything. Maybe even. I think we can risk uh, doing this. I don't see why. Hopefully England won't be too uh, threatened by it. Let's set a attitude to threatened, which might help in our relation with France. Let's see. Um, distance between borders. Positive reasons. Thormund is threatened by England. Plus 20, plus 20 positive reasons. So that really helps us uh, securing that alliance with, uh, with France. We should, I think we should pull our ships back to blockade. I forgot. Sorry. Um, I forgot to uh, to mention it beforehand. Uh, a disclaimer: I'm no expert at this game. I said I only played 150 hours at least. That's what I said. Uh, I said at least something there. But uh, by uh, by no means I'm uh, I'm an expert, so I'm probably quite bad compared to a lot of people. But uh, I'll do my best, and I will try to be as informative as possible. And uh, I might even learn a few new things uh, when playing. So, uh, but just let me know what you think and what I can do better. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this is a, this can be a learning experience for me as well. Right, so the siege is uh, ticking. So speed up the time a bit. Go to speed. Uh, speed three is okay, I think. Speed four is sometimes a bit too fast. Things can happen, and uh, before you notice it, is the royal marriage coming along? What if we? No, that doesn't really. He doesn't care that we are threatened by England, does he? No, he doesn't care. All right, we get a. Pop up seal confession. The sins may be of interest even if you can't absolve them. Sligo Thorman at size 25 to the spy network. 30% chance of the event Pope discovers plot happens. Or do we need a bigger spy network in Sligo? No, I don't think we want to risk the that the Pope discovers our plot. Let's go with the admin points, uh, Diplo points, rather. I mean, in one month we have enough, uh, the spy network is big enough to uh, to get the claim anyway. So, diplomacy, fabricate claim. Um, Alright, we have to claim and we can, do we want to increase the network a bit so we get a better siege bonus? Or uh, quicker siege takes. 
Well, these events, great. Of course I'm gonna give up a bit of money for 10 prestige. Yes, please. Alright, let's pull the diplomat back and send him to France. Wanna get an alliance with France as well. Preferably before he declares war on England, maybe, I don't know. Is that a good idea? On the other hand, if England stomps on us, we're gonna be a sad panda. As you can see, uh, Leinster and Tyrone have decided to uh, to get an alliance. So we, we really need a vassal. So we quickly need to end this war. Uh, diplomacy, of course, our uh, diplomat is uh, not available. Let's get him back from Scotland. All right. Let's secure this peace deal. You can surrender your province and we grab a bunch of cash. Um, I don't really like it because it gives us a bunch of inflation, but on the other hand, we really need the money now. We really need some money to pay for the for the troops and probably get an advisor soon. Of course. All right, let's see. This war costs us more troops than it did uh, Clan Ricard. Victorious. All right, what's our next mission? Uh, Conicherry. Uh, no, thank you. I need my troops. Uh, let's call the province and let's see. Gain five prestige if we get Kildar to like us, but Kildar won't exist between now and few months maybe a year proof of prestige gain one stability we are at 18 we're quite getting quite a bit of prestige from these balls so or do we want to solidify the papal relations I kind of need my diplomats for Scotland and fabricating claims so the prestige I don't think I don't know Let's go with solidified paper relations. And can we declare war on you straight away? Yes. Um, we might want to wait a month for troops to recover. Wait! What? I trained two cavalry instead of. Whoa, that's not what we want. Uh, what's it? Force limit. Oh, right. Force limit that has increased. So uh, let's train another. Still, I don't think we need four cav. I'm gonna delete you. I'm sorry. Ooh, I misclicked there. That's not what we. Sorry for that. All right, we're back, and we, let's train another. Let's train two infantry, and then we will go straight to war. Let's get a royal marriage with you. Oh, you don't want a royal marriage anymore. Improve relations then. For a month or two. What's France doing? I think if he if he can secure the royal marriage with France, we'll probably want to get the alliance. Especially if we can get a, a better army. Denying the power of the nobility, lose ten influence, not really that important for now. We'll fiddle with the estates uh, later. At this point I want to focus on the war. You probably can go there. I should have sent you to go uh, protect trade, but unfortunately I forgot. Let's declare the war and take him out of the game. You can blockade, you can get a royal marriage. No, you don't want to draw your marriage, improve relations then. Cavalry flanking ability, nice. Born on the saddle, he gets a new uh, a new trait, the general, nice. So basically our cav is, uh, is quite a bit better now. That's not too shabby. <coughs> Alright, excuse me. Uh, we get uh, a claim fabricated on us, well... 
that doesn't really matter we're gonna conquer the rest of Ireland hopefully uh, very soon but for now it's uh, time to cut this episode and to uh, yeah to say goodbye I hope you like this content uh, it's a bit differently from what we've done so far but I want to go and shift my content towards these type of games like Civilization European Universalis uh, maybe Hearts of Iron that sort of stuff uh, I hope you like that um, I like it for certain. I certainly like it, but uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, if you do, leave a like. And if you want to see more in the future, uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.